Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a keypad access control system using the EDSIM 51. On the LCD, the message enter pin will be displayed. You then go to the keypad and type in a four digit code. The key that you press will not be displayed, but it will display uh, four asterisks, one for each key that you uh, enter. If you get the correct code, then the message access granted will be displayed. If the code that you key in is wrong, then the message access denied will be displayed. Prerequisite. I'm going to assume that for this video, that is the key pad access control that you have watched my previous videos. Uh, video 27, EDSIM 51 keypad. Video 28, EDSIM 51 LCD module. Video 29, revisiting EDSIM 51 keypad. And video 33, EDSIM 51 LCD and keypad. Um, especially this last one here. The reason for asking you to watch these videos is that the contents of each of these videos lay the foundation that will assist you or help you to understand the keypad access control algorithm. Okay, so let's look at the flowchart. So we will start off uh, with selecting the uh, instruction register. Uh, basically, this is to allow us to set the instruction codes. So the first instruction code is to set the function set. Uh, basically, that will take the LCD into a 4-bit mode. Then we set the display control. This will be responsible for turning on the display and turning on the cursor. And then we will do set entry mode and uh, the function of this code is to uh, shift the cursor to the right. And when done all these uh, setting the codes, then we display the message enter pin. Then we set up a counter uh, to check for the number of key scan. And then we set up another counter to check for the number of correct code entered. And then we initialize or so set up the lookup table for the pinned. Having done all that, we then scan the keypad for the uh, code. We then select the data register because we want to display the hash onto the LCD display instead of the key that is pressed. And then check for the number of key scan. If the number of key scan is four, because we're only looking for four uh, codes. So if it's not equals to four, you go back, scan the keypad for another code select the data register, display the hash key, come back, ask the same question, is the number of key scan equals to four? If it's yes, it would then ask the question, are all the codes uh, correct? Are all the codes, are there four correct codes? Is, if the answer is yes, then you display access granted. If the, all the four codes enters or incorrect, then the message access denied will be displayed. And then 
uh, the program will terminate. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. Um, I'm going to focus mainly on the main part of the uh, of the code. I would uh, later on show you the complete code. Uh, it's fairly long, uh, so I'll just focus on the main part of the code. Uh, this is just only the beginning part. So let's get started. So as usual, I'm going to start it at zero. 0, 0, 0, hexa, equate uh, register select RS to P1.3 and uh, enable uh, E here to this uh, P1.2. So the first instruction here basically uh, will set RS equal 0. That will select the instruction register of the LCD. Uh, the purpose of doing that so that we can set the instruction codes so the first one would be uh, get the function set. Basically, that would set the uh, LCD to a 4-bit mode operation. Uh, call display con subroutine. Basically, this would turn the display and the cursor on. Uh, next up is the entry mode subroutine. Basically, that will shift the cursor to the right. Then we set. RS, that means put RS equals to 1, that will select the data register. The reason for doing so because we're going to display a message. So here that would uh, set up the uh, lookup table for the enter pin message. And from hit this point onwards, clear A to jump again, basically this portion of the code will call the individual characters in the uh, uh, lookup table and display the message enter pin. Next up is the, uh, we set up the count R4 as a counter for checking the number of key scan. Uh, we'll be limiting the number of key scan to four, four key, key inputs. Then we set up R5 as, R5 as a counter for checking the number of correct codes, uh, pin codes entered. Then here, this line here will basically start off, uh, initialize the lookup table for the actual pin. Right? So you can change your pin uh, by uh, going uh, changing the contents of this lookup table. Right then, uh, we call scan keypad. That is to look for the the key press or the code being entered. Uh, set RS to one uh, because we want the data register because we want to display the asterisk for each key press. So this portion of the code, these four lines of code here, will basically display the hash. No, sorry the asterisk for each key press uh, found. Then we come down to this part here. Uh, this portion of the code here will look, will compare the input from the keypad with the contents of the lookup table of the pin. So it would cross check. And for each uh, correct input, it will increment the uh, counter. So this part here will check for the number of correct inputs. And it would do this, uh, this repeat this key scan and check uh, four times. And then when you come down to this part here, it will check the counter for the number of correct inputs. Now, if the number of correct inputs is not equals to four, because four being because there's only four uh, code. That's the uh, current setup. You may change this if you wish, but for this example, we only have four a uh, four-digit code. So if it's it doesn't get uh, all four, then it's wrong. It will then call this subroutine wrong, uh, which is this portion here. Basically, this subroutine will put the cursor onto the second line, uh, then call the data select the data register call this subroutine 
this subroutine basically would uh, display the message access denied because the code is wrong. Now, assuming that if it's correctly entered, then uh, this subroutine here would be called. Uh, again, very identical to this, it will put the cursor to the second line of the display, select the data register, call this subroutine called grant. Basically, this subroutine would display the message access granted. Either one, if either, when either one is selected, uh, after, when these, either one is completed, then it, the program will end. Okay, so I'm using the uh, uh, Notepad++ to look at the entire code. Uh, so again, um, we're starting at this 0, 0, 0, 0 hexa. We equate RS and uh, E to P1.3 and P1.2 respectively. We set uh, RS to 0 to, uh, to select the instruction register because we want to set the instruction codes. So these three functions here, function set, display con, entry mode, uh, they are the instruction codes. So in function set will set the LCD to a 4-bit mode. Uh, display con will turn the display and cursor on. Entry mode will shift the cursor to the right by one. And then following that, we set we select data register by setting RS equals 1 and uh, we then initialize the uh, lookup table to display the message enter pin and this portion of the code here basically will display the enter pin message this part here all right so uh, and then this to uh, R4 and R5. R4 is the counter for checking the number of scans. R5 is to check, is a counter to check the number of correct code being uh, keyed in. And this one will, uh, this line here will uh, initiate the lookup table for the uh, actual pin. There, there are only four digits. Uh, you can increase them later on if you want. And here we will scan the keypad for an input, uh, select the data register, display the asterisk uh, for each key uh, for each uh, key press. So this is taken care of by that here. Here, this part here, this will then check for the number of correct uh, code that has been entered. Okay. Call check input uh, subroutine here will actually check the uh, number of correct inputs. We will come to this uh, subroutine uh, later on. Um, and then this part, this instruction here, will check the number of key scan made. Uh, the maximum uh, key scan allowed is four because that's uh, that's been set here. So if it's not four times, it will go back until this is done. Uh, this portion of code here has been uh, carried out four times. Now, having uh, accepted four codes, it will then check for the number of correct inputs. Now, um, if the number of correct inputs is less than four, then it will go down to this part here. That would set the cursor to this uh, second line of the uh, LCD, select the data register and display the message access denied. Now if the number of uh, code entered is correct, that is number the total number is four, all four codes are correct, then it would uh, call this uh, grant uh, subroutine here. Uh, it will set the uh, cursor to the second line, select the data register, and then call this uh, subroutine granted. That will display uh, the message access granted. All right, so that is the main part 
of the uh, the co and by the way when this is all done it will then end here so the uh, the uh, program will terminate here now very quickly just let me go through uh, this is the function set uh, subroutine that's one of the instruction code here's the display con subroutine another uh, that would display that will turn the display on and off and also the cursor and then this is the entry mode uh, this will shift the uh, cursor to the right so this is the entry mode and this is the power signal to write the uh, code to yeah to write the code so this a short uh, pulse here then uh, this is the this subroutine send chart will display the character stored in the accumulator. A short delay here that is required. Then from here on, this is the scan keypad. Again, all this detail of the algorithm is presented in one of my previous videos. Please check it out. Um, and then uh, once the key is pressed identify the key here check so identify the key which key is being pressed all this being done uh, by this subroutine here all right okay so this part here the check input uh, what it does is it will uh, compare the contents of uh, 0 7 h that 07H is actually register uh, R7 and it contains the code that has been entered via the keypad. It's up here, this R7. Alright, so the code that is entered will be stored here in R7 and what this subroutine would do, it will uh, compare that with the contents uh, of A, the contents of R7 with the contents of A. And then this part here, will, if it's uh, correct, it will increment uh, R5, which is the counter that will indicate the number of correct code entered. This will put the cursor to the second line of the display. Okay, so this is the uh, Subroutine that will display uh, access uh, granted, and this will di display access denied. Oh, this shouldn't be open. This is uh, access granted. So let me just correct it. As uh, okay, so this is access granted. So yeah. And here are the lookup tables for the message enter pin, access granted, uh, access denied, and this is the the uh, the password or the pin. So uh, to get to be consistent, we call it pin here instead of password. Okay. So yep. All right, so let me save that. So this is the pin. Now, if if you don't want this to use this pin here, you can change it uh, to your liking. So if you want to change the pin, this is this is the part, and you are only allowed uh, four codes. Now, if you want more than four codes, you need to uh, reset. You need to redefine the scan here. Oh, sorry, uh, this point here. All right, if you want five, then you need to change it to five, and this is also change. You need to change that to five if you want to do so. All right, so uh, go back here. So this is the this is part for the pin. Okay, that's about it, really. So um, we'll go to the demonstration now. Okay, so we are back in the EDSIM 51 for the demonstration. I've uploaded the uh, code. Uh, let, so let me just assemble it. Uh, no errors. 
uh, let's run the code. Uh, again, before I run the code, uh, I've chosen to use uh, 7 uh, for the update frequency. Uh, it may be a bit slow, but uh, this is the update frequency that I'm most comfortable with uh, when it comes to uh, pressing and releasing the uh, the key on the keypad. Now, um, just one more thing. When you uh, press the key, you see that this uh, will turn gray. To release it, you press it again. Now, you need to do this uh, for every uh, code that you enter. So let me choose number two. Uh, number two. So enter, release, press, release. All right, so that we need to do that. So let us run the code now. Um, it will first thing display the message enter pin. It will go quite slow, but uh, eventually we get there. Just be patient. So run. Uh, just watch this part here. So it's coming now. E and so on. Let's just wait for a while. So it says enter pin. So now we press one, release, press one, release, press this one, release, press this one, and release. Notice that I would pause for a while before I release the key. Again, and you need to play around uh, to find the uh, most comfortable timing for yourself so it should be displaying the message access granted okay so access granted okay let's uh, pause the program, reset, uh, let me reload the program. You don't have to do that, but I just like doing it just to make sure. Assemble it again. Now, okay, for this time, I'm going to run it and I'm going to punch in deliberately the wrong code. Uh, let's see what happens. It's a bit slow, but uh, eventually you get there. Okay, almost there. All right, so let me just key in any key. Press, hold, press, hold, press, hold, press. Hold for a while, and now we'll see. Let's see what's happened. So it's spelling the word access. Okay, so we should spell denied. Okay, so it's an access denied because the, the uh, pin number that we punch in, the code that we punch in is incorrect. All right, so uh, we will stop here with the demo. Okay, that's it for this uh, video. I hope that you have found it useful. Uh, I have provided the link to the uh, code that I've used for this video in the description below. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next uh, video. Bye!